AI video generators have made massive progress in recent weeks, but I was not prepared for the horrors that I encountered when I combined multiple new AI tools to create a BBC Planet Earth style nature documentary. But in the serene depths a lurking nightmare awaits. On our journey to the darkest depths of the AI-generated oceans, I will show you the free tools that I used to create this documentary and how you can use them to create your own AI short films. So make sure to watch to the end. But first we need a script and for one of my last short films I used ChatGPT. I just asked, hey, write a text promoting the city on Mars as a travel destination. And it gave me a perfect script for my short film. But this time I want to do it differently because ChatGPT has eyes now. With a new update you can actually upload images and ChatGPT will understand their content. So my idea was to ask for a list of strange, never before seen animals, film them using this new AI video tool and then show these images back to ChatGPT asking it for appropriate names and to write a short Wikipedia article about them. In the end I will ask to write a planet earth style nature documentary about all these animals. And one of the creatures that ChatGPT gave me was a mix between an octopus and a crab. So now let's bring that to life. There are a lot of new AI video generators like Runways Gen 2, Pika Labs or Moon Valley. But the most impressive one for me is Animate Diff. It's a framework for animating text to image models and you can install it locally on your computer. So no weird Discord interfaces or monthly subscriptions are necessary. I was a bit hesitant to try it out because I thought you would need the newest NASA machine to run it, but to my surprise it worked incredibly well on my 4 year old graphics card. You can use Animate Diff in Automatic 11.11, but I am going to use it in ComfyUI because it has a lot of advantages. First of all, ComfyUI is a node based interface for stable diffusion. And that means that every single node you see here is a piece of code doing one specific task. And then you can plug them together to quickly build your own workflows. And if you ever worked with Blender, DaVinci Resolve or Nuke, you are already familiar with this concept. For everyone else, I know this looks complicated at first, but the installation process is really simple and you can find some great tutorials for that in the video description or on my Patreon. And once you have everything set up, you can just download my two workflows, one for short videos and one for longer videos, for free on my Patreon and just drag and drop them into ComfyUI. And now let's use the short workflow to generate the octopus crab. At the beginning here we can set our model and I'm going to use Dream Shaper. Up here we can choose the motion model that we are going to use and I would recommend checking them all out for your prompts because sometimes even older versions can give you amazing results. Down here we can choose our scene dimensions and I choose a low resolution 480p a 16x9 video. I recommend not changing the batch size, leave that at 16. Below that you can put in your prompts, so this is your positive prompt and this is your negative prompt and I'm going to use this one for the octopus crab. Below that you can put in the seed for the image generation and I would recommend to put it to fixed for prompt building so we actually see when we change the prompt what happens instead of getting a completely new result each time we run this prompt. For the sampler you don't have to change anything there but if you want you can play around with the steps and the CFG. Next is just the decoder we don't have to do anything there and this is already our first output. And this will just take all the 16 frames that we generate and give us a video with 8 frames per second. So let's start generating our video. I just click Q prompt and the cool thing with ComfyUI is you can always see what exactly it's working on at the moment. So this took like 2 minutes and we can see our video here in the output node. But the frame rate is a bit low so let's increase that to 24 frames a second. For that I went to the ComfyUI manager and clicked install custom nodes. I searched for interpolation and added the ComfyUI frame interpolation node. And you can see it already included in the workflow, but at the moment I deactivated it. So let's activate it by pressing Ctrl B. And the multiplier is set to 3, so it will make 24 frames out of the 8 frames that we got. Now you can just activate the output and you can see I set the frame rate here to 24 frames. When we press Q prompt again, it will actually remember that it already did all these steps and it will just start here and interpolate our frames directly. And you can see this video is much smoother. But the quality is still a bit too low for me. So in this workflow I also included this upscaler. Just activate the nodes 
and this will upscale the video by 1.5. Again, I've included an interpolation node. And last thing, I'm just going to activate the last final output node of our interpolated upscaled video. And now we can just click Q prompt again and it will start right here at upscaling our video. So after just four minutes, it's done and this is our final video. And just look at those movements and their detail. This is so much better than anything else I've seen from other AI video generators. For comparison, here's the same prompt in different tools. Both of my workflows are based on the amazing work by Inner Reflections AI and I've put links to them and his guide for animated diff in the video description. I've also created a detailed tutorial on my Patreon page where I explain each step of my workflow, walk you through the comp UI installation process, installing custom nodes, prompting the final video and give you additional tips and tricks. So if you really want to dive deep into this technique and help me create these videos, check it out under the link in the description and thank you very much for your support. So now that I had the video of my octopus crab, I went back to ChatGPT and said, Oh my god, look at this weird creature I just found. I've never seen anything like it before. Can you tell me what it is? But ChatGPT was not so easily fooled. Okay, you got me there, ChatGPT. Let's pretend it is real. This is an AI generated image. Can you give me a fitting name for this creature and write a short Wikipedia style article about it? And this worked incredibly well. Even though the image looks really weird, ChatGPT was able to understand this creature very well and gave me a fitting description as well as a really cute name. Luminara Octoglide. I repeated the same process for the other animals, for example the hopper hoot, a mix between owl and a frog, and eventually asked ChatGPT to write a planet earth style nature documentary about them. And let's just say, ChatGPT understood the assignment. It even called for David Attenborough as a voice actor. But now where do I find the voice of a British older gentleman? 11 Labs is my go-to place for generating voices for video projects. And I just searched through their custom voices and found this one. George. I'm George. He's no David, but he's pretty close. And what I like to do is to play around with these sliders and generate multiple versions of the same text so I can edit together my perfect voiceover. The last step was to put everything together and add music and sound design. For that, I used the free editing software DaVinci Resolve. I also used it to grade the colors of the clips to make them pop a little bit more and to add additional effects like smudges on the lens, camera shake, retimes or blur effects. But now it's time for us to dive down into the AI abyss and face one of Leighton Space's most terrifying creatures. I hope you're not afraid of tentacles. In the sun-drenched landscapes of Enchantis, life thrives in the most unexpected forms. On its golden shores, a peculiar creature, the sand scuttle, makes its way across the sands. Perched on a nearby palm tree, the hopper hoot observes the world below with keen piercing eyes. Its majestic feathery brows twitch as it spots the sand scuttle. With a combination of avian intelligence and amphibian agility, the hopper hoot readies for a dive but the swift sand scuttle withdraws into its shell just in the nick of time, leaving the hopper hoot hungry. As daylight begins to wane on the shores of Enchantis, we venture deeper into the azure waters. In the heart of the cerulean abyss, where light from the sun scarcely reaches, evolution has given rise to one of the ocean's most enchanting spectacles, the Luminara Octoglide, a creature of luminescence and continuous metamorphosis. It feeds on the glow of bioluminescent algae, a diet that not only nourishes but adds to its own radiant allure. But in the serene depths, a lurking nightmare awaits. The Cephaloshade, a creature of Enchantis's darkest depths. Its insatiable hunger is born from a parasitic organism within, driving it to hunt incessantly. Luminara octoglides scatter in a shimmering display, their glow intensifying with fear, and this mother quickly absorbs her babies. As the cephaloshade gives chase, a fascinating spectacle unfolds. More Luminara octoglides gather, their combined luminescence creating a blinding light. This radiant display is not just mesmerizing, but strategic, as the cephaloshade unaccustomed to such brilliance, recoils in disorientation. 
As the night completely envelops Enchantis, the Luminara Octogliders gather to celebrate their victory, transforming the shores and waters of Enchantis into a mesmerizing tapestry of glowing lights. Thanks for watching and thank you again to my lovely Patreon supporters who make these videos possible. See you next time.